Alrighty guys, so very quickly, today we are going to go through some common mistakes we see when performing certain exercises, and today is the Bulgarian split squat. Now, specifically when talking about this, we're going to be referring to the dynamic hinge. So what we do tend to see is people doing this exercise very upright. So they're standing very upright and proud. Now, when this happens, a tendency that can happen is that the glutes start to switch off or are just not as active as we'd like. Then the referral, uh, or not so much pain, the referral feeling will move more from the glute into quad hip flexor. So what we want to just quickly demo is what that will look like. So when we're taking or setting up for our Bulgarian split, split squat, you'll see how Troy starts with both his, both his feet at the base of the box or bench, whatever we're using. He then takes a normal walking step out. This is to set up his distance away from our box. From there, he pops the other foot up. Now, we're gonna show you what we mean by being upright first. So our upright Bulgarian, what we're gonna do is people, this is what we see, this is what we don't want to happen. So the person will be upright, they're a little bit hard to balance, whether they've got weight or not. Then they go through their movement and they're feeling it starting to load up into their quad more so. What we want to do is create a dynamic hinge. Now, very important with our dynamic hinge is when we hinge at the hips, we're bringing that chest slightly forward, but we're not rounding through the back. So when we set up the dynamic hinge, we're not rounding. We are changing the position of where our hips are. From there, we're keeping those lats on nice and tight. So if you're holding onto dumbbells, you're trying to pull them back, get the lats tight, shoulders are set down. We take our breath in, we're letting that knee track over toe, and we drop down into the rep. So you see as Troy comes down, he's staying nice and stable, he's strong, he's maintained that dyna dynamic hinge. What this does now is with his planted foot, he is feeling, that glute start to really fire. A lot of the uh, a lot of the feeling sensation is moving out of the quad solely, and there should be no feeling or sensation in the hip flexor. So, guys, that is our Bulgarian split squat with the dynamic hinge. This is what we want to see. This is just the normal Bulgarian split squat. But as I said, remember dynamic hinge.